men are facing federal charges for trying to fly lethal drugs into Dane County. WMTV's Marcus Arsval joins us to share why law enforcement says people are willing to take the risk of life in prison to deal drugs like fentanyl, Marcus. The Dane County Narcotics Task Force helped Homeland Security and other agencies interesting two men at the Middleton Airport for flying 400 milligrams of fentanyl into Dane County, according to this criminal complaint. The complaint shows the private plane right here. This is where police say they found nearly 47 pounds of fentanyl pills and 17.5 pounds of meth and fentanyl mixture. You can see the drugs also pictured in the criminal complaint. The narcotics task force says drug dealers are getting more creative with how they transport drugs, even though these two men could face life behind bars. When they're getting it from the southern border states, they're paying a far uh, smaller price for what they're getting and they're making a lot more money here uh, in Dane County off of that kind of that secondary market. So that seizure there alone could have been over 2 million uh, street value here in Dane County. So it would have been definitely worth it for them to to try to bring that here. The complaint says a tip came in from someone in Arizona who thought the two men were acting suspicious. Coming up at 6, MPD shares other ways these drugs are getting into Dane County. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, WMTV 15 News.